Hi everyone! This week's toy hunt is filmed at Walmart and Walmart's resetting their toy aisle and they have an awesome Magic Mixie Mixlings end cap. It's actually an end cap like behind the aisles so definitely check out your Walmarts but it's a cool display. They have the two packs, the single packs, they have a ton of product and I like the artwork on the display as well. There's like side pieces and then the front piece and then those cuties up top. And so far I've just loved the magic mixlings that I've opened. And then down the aisle proper, they have more. They have this case of magic mixies mixlings, which is really cool. And those are the single packs and then up here they have more of those Shopkins packs. So this is the Season 16 Exclusive Snack Time Variety Pack. Oh, that's so cool. So last time I found one, but it looks like there's a couple different varieties um, to find. They also have Season 15 there, but there's two Season 16s. I've opened one on my channel and I just love it. They've yet again done such a great job with, with the Real Littles brand, so that's really exciting. And then they also have some cute Tito's. I think Walmart's kind of wrapping up their clearance. Walmart clearance goes goes fast, but we do have um, some some dolls on clearance as well down this aisle. Oh, and there's even some more Magic Mixlings thrown in there. Remember, there are codes on the bottom of the, the little mini cauldrons, which is cool. Oh, they also have some cutie reveal Barbies down this aisle. I think it's sort of an overflow. And then they have the Magic Mixies cauldron. Are these really on, on clearance for $48? Huh. That's interesting. Maybe they're, they're making way for a, a new set. And then on a little side cap here, I've seen these pictured on Instagram. They have the Little People collector set of the Golden Girls. Like, how sweet and precious is that? All four of them. Aw, that's, that's super nostalgic. And what a fun and cute little collectible. I think everyone's grandmas watched, watched Golden Girls. That's sweet. <laughs> Very cute. And then they have a neat new unicorn surprise. Her name is Licorice, and she's just super colorful. So that's awesome. I'm glad to see some some new of you know series of that surprise sets with the little babies. Very cute. And then down the doll aisle, they actually have one of the new Shadow High dolls. This is uh, Aisha Sterling. Wow. She's really pretty in the very fancy elaborate outfit. That's cool. So there, there's three in that glamour line. Love her outfit. Love the color combination. Still a really big, big fan of, of Shadow High and what they're doing. Last week we found the, the rock band. And then they also have the Magic Mixlings pack and playset. Okay, that's exciting. So this is like opposite the dolls, but not in the section that had the cauldrons. So you may have to hunt around for them. But again, my my Walmart is kind of resetting and putting stuff out. So look at the cute little castle. So it's kind of like a, a fa castle facade little, little playset. But I really like the exclusive Mixling you can get there and I guess it has little interactive features with your wand which is really cute and I really like that um, four pack that's awesome so I think we've we found them all and then there's a bunch of new Hatchimals items coming out it's like the family vacation pack but look at this huge Hatchimal unicorn Really cute and rainbow, the wings bend. That's new, that's cool. And then down here, we have some new blind bags in this rainbow, rainbow vacation line. I guess it's called the rainbow vacation. That's cool, there's 60 new ones, oopsies, 60 new ones to collect. Oh yeah, there's like a van. I've actually seen advertisements for this on, on YouTube, you may have too. But there you go, they're, they're out now in stores. Oops, there's not too much to look at on the back. But definitely new, new stuff at Walmart. 
And Walmart also has the little Hello Kitty purse. Oh, we saw these at Target last week. And then they have some of the new Real Littles Disney backpacks and purses. Look at the Cheshire Cats one. Oh, they have the apple from Snow White. So you get items that are themed to that character. So that's really cool. And it looks like they have an Ursula one, which that's nice. Got some villain action. They have Raya. And that one. <laughs> but the Cheshire Cat bag is like one of those like jelly bags. That's what it reminds me of. I would just like a, a, a life-size tote like that in, in real life. That's really cute. Glad to see some Alice in Wonderland stuff. It looks like they're going to have a really cute Tinkerbell one too. And then more Disney items. They have the new series of Disney Dorables, which is exciting. Ooh, they have some Alice in Wonderland. That's cool. Lady and the Tramp. There's a lot of Wreck-It Ralph. And Big Hero 6. Cool stuff. That's such a cute little dorm. And they also have the Snow White set. And then, ooh, a Pixar set. So Pixar Fest. And those are the, the characters you get. Oh, nice to see, like, Wally and Evie. I love Wally. That's such a good movie. And then they also have the Nightmare Before Christmas one. And then over here they have the cars. Which, that's cool. Your little figure can ride in the car. Look at the little Alice one. And the car is themed to the characters. Oh, they have new packaging, too. They have, like, a, a peel-off little plastic type of thing. That's a cute, cute idea. I'm really interested in those those bigger packs. So happy to see more Alice stuff. And then in a bin, we have some Jumbo Squishmallows. Look at this cutie. That's that cute little monster. I don't know if these are, are Walmart exclusives, but I don't think so. Some might be. But some of them are the fuzzy ones. Like this fuzzy cat is absolutely adorable. There's a there's a huge bin so you can can look through, but wow. Super cute, so soft. I know they're releasing some holiday ones. And then they're restocking the action figure aisle, but I'll have to come back again, but they have some cool anime figures from Bandai. So we have the Dragon Ball Z set, which they look pretty nice. Oh, there's only three figures. And then they have Naruto, which also looks really nice. Could you imagine like Sailor Moon and, and some other series? That would be cool. I'm glad to see Bandai expanding some of their some of their IPs. So that's pretty exciting. Those those figures look really nice. And then in the Pokemon section they have this adorable sleeping Pikachu. So he's the same like texture as a Squishmallow, a little plumper, but still super soft. And how cute is he? He's just sleeping. And then they have some of the new figure packs. Oh, look at the Mimikyu and Absol. That's cool. I'm pretty sure these are new new three packs. I really like the three packs. And then Balton. I feel like I have a, a Balton pack that had different characters. So it looks like just these three sets. It's a little, little Mimikyu. And then that one with Lucario. But again, is that Growlithe? He, he, looks, he looks very small. Um, but cool stuff. Glad to see something <laughs> with, with Pokemon figures. They also have the Pokeball pack there. And then here's a quick look at Five Nights at Freddy's. They have some uh, Dreadbear leftover. Glitch Trap's awesome. And then some of the VR ones. Um, on the hunt for those new like tie-dye ones. That's cool. And then... Again, down sort of the Polly Pocket aisle, they have um, one of the Alfmal dolls. Or I guess this is the only doll, so that's cool. So I know her... Look at that shark. <laughs> that's such a cute shark. That line's expanding, so that's really cute. And they also have some more Squishmallows. So there's that. They don't have any of the Alfmal plushies or anything. Ooh, and then down here they have the mini brats which actually look really cool. I love how you can get them in package with the mini doll inside. So this is my first time seeing these ones. 
Oh, I'm such a sucker for anything mini, especially like in the package like that. I think they, so far, looks looks really good. And then Walmart finally has some Cats vs. Pickle vs. World items. Oh my goodness, they have the Kittens vs. Gherkins, which is my fave. Yes, yeah, so I knew these were going to start to come out at in stores in August. They have the Chonks of, of the Gold Wave bags. And then they also have the Dogs vs. Squirrels. So this is also down the Polly Pocket aisle part, um, which they're still also resetting and restocking, but there you go. There's three new different sets. I've opened each on my channel and they're absolutely adorable. So happy to find these in stores. Hopefully they'll be more plentiful. Ooh, and speaking of more Squishmallows, they have more of the Squishville ones. Look at the little bird. There's a spider that's cute. And then they also have another rainbow little, little set there. And over here, they also have some of the Gold Wave blind bags. Okay, so that's really cool. That kind of completes all the new series out. Oh, I think they were mixing the Chonk Dog versus Squirrels. And then speaking of Polly Pockets, they have the new Gumball Machine Bear. Okay, I've seen pictures online. Look how cute. It's like those old style squinky kind of capsules. Okay, and it opens up to reveal a play set. I'm assuming it really spins. Okay, that's cute. They also have a unicorn stack cake, birthday cake looking playset. And of course, the ice cream one. Oh, Polly Pocket, so magical. So cute. They've actually done a really great job on theming. I love that bear gumball machine. That's also very, very tempting. It's, it's adorable. And then in the Funko section, they actually have some of the Funko backpacks, which are 30 bucks, but they're very lounge fly reminiscent with that front pouch, the book bag design. So it looks like they have the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and Guardians of the Galaxy, which for that price, that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice little mini backpack right there. I actually have the, the lounge fly Guardians bag, um, but paid a lot more than $30 for it. Ooh, and they also have the Hobgoblin Glow in the Dark Walmart exclusive figure from the Monster Hunter Marvel series, the Mech Strike, which those just look so awesome. So that's really cool. Love, love Glow in the Dark. That is a, a neat figure. I don't collect that line, but there you go. And then Trick or Treat, they have little Sam, which he looks cute, but I know he's spooky. And then some of the summer convention ones from Parks and Rec. I think we've seen him. I think, oh, there's Boba Fett. That's cool. And then they have some of the what if. Oh, they have a Stranger Things. Lucas. That's a Walmart exclusive one. That's pretty cool. And they also, over here, have a couple other Walmart exclusives, including um, Willie Nelson. <laughs> And then in the card section, they have a lot of cool ornaments. I wanted to take a look if they have the new Funko Pop ones, and they do. They have Optimus Prime, Boba Fett, Stitch, the Monopoly Man. Look at this one, the Mandalorian. I don't think that one's a Walmart exclusive. So it's really cool that Funko has been making ornaments. And then just a whole lot of other cuties from Hallmark. A lot of cool IPs. There's Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at Skeletor. Yes. Do I need a Skeletor on my tree? Maybe. Oh, lots of lots of nice nice ornaments. Never never too early for for Christmas. <laughs> And then on the side here, oh, I saw pictures on Instagram. They have these cute little Hallmark Buddy ornament series. They have magnets, so these little cuties stick together. They have the bacon and eggs, a gingerbread and milk carton. And they're like, um, they feel like a polymer clay type of design, but heavy. Look at, they have the pretzel and cheese dip. That, <laughs> that is so cute. You know I love those little faces. They remind me of those plushies they've had before they have peanut butter and jelly avocado and toast these are super cute they're $9.98 I believe look at the burger and fries so just cute little matching ornaments they have a taco a cheese a little drink and popcorn really cute 
Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is the haul portion if you want to stick around and see what I purchased. Walmart is definitely resetting their toy section, which is awesome. They were working on the action figure aisle while I was there, so I didn't get to film much, but they did have a lot of new stuff and really happy to see um, just a, a, a better design in some of the aisle settings. You can rarely find Cats vs. Pickles. They had a nice little area. They moved um, the doll aisle around a little bit, so lots of lots of good changes when when they do the the reset. So I picked up the Magic Mixlings four pack, the exclusive glitter mixlings, and a lot of you told me about that, so I was so excited to find it. I don't know if this one will always be the same, which is that little character, which looks adorable. So I'm I'm in. They had a beautiful display on an end cap where they had the two packs as well as the one pack. They had a ton. So definitely, if you're on the hunt for these and your Walmart has reset, check the end caps because that was a really cool display. And then I also picked up another one of the exclusive Shopkins pack for season 16. This is the snack time set. This one also rang up as 1997, which is really cool. And it has some characters I don't have yet. And you, of course you get the seven mystery ones. And when I unbox those, I just, I love that set. I, I love season 16. So glad they're continuing with real littles and the quality that they've done recently. And then Disney Dorables had a lot of new stuff out. They have the cars, which, I don't think I'm going to do those. Um, I just like the little mini figures. And this set has a ton of Alice in Wonderland. That's what sold me. Look at those little cards. I'm not sure. I don't think they ever had those card characters before. So, and they have the King of Hearts. So, lots of cool stuff. They have some really cool Pixar ones, as well as Wreck It Ralph. That's fun. So I'm, I'm excited for this. Look at Rapunzel has a teeny tiny little Pascal there. So this looks like a really fun series. So I definitely want to collect some of these packs. And then the last items I picked up are the <laughs> Kittens vs. Gherkins from Cats vs. Pickles. These have absolutely won me over. They're adorable. They come in a two-pack. So I think these were like $9.97 um, at, at Walmart. And yeah, look, look at how, how cute that is. They also had the Dogs vs. Squirrels. They had some of the Chonks. They had the Gold Wave. So definitely if you're a Cats vs. Pickles fan and are on the hunt for them in stores, check, check Walmart because they are adorable and I can't wait to open these. <laughs> So uh, that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can join me every Thursday for another toy hunt. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting my channel and I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.